Welcome back to Fab Motorbikes. I am Fabian. Thanks again to all the new subscribers. Seems to be going very well, so I really appreciate that. So today I'd like to talk to you about motorcycle security. Keeping those pesky robbers away from your pride and joy. Keeping your motorcycle secure, mostly I believe it's about adding layers of security. And at the end of the day, it's all a deterrent upon deterrent upon deterrent. If they really want your bike, they're going to take it. But you need to put as many obstacles in the way to ensure that it's basically not worth their time. So a great piece of equipment here is the disc lock. You may all know this is built by Motrax, this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's cast aluminium. Or cast. It's solid metal. I mean, you're not gonna get through that. Effectively just goes on the, the disc. As you can see, it's also got this on. This is more or less a reminder and a bright deterrent. So potential thieves can just see, oh, it's got one of these on, I'm not gonna bother. I'll demonstrate how this thing attaches to the bike now. So it simply goes in and out, attaches to the brake disc here. Ideally you want it as close to the caliper as possible so that if you forget it's there, it's not gonna swing all the way around and smack into your, your very important brake caliper. Goes in there, lock and comes back out. Next up you can see I have two chains here. Both Oxford Hardcore padlock and chains. The longer one is two meters long and the other one here is I think it's 1.5. You can see that this one's been wrapped in blue duct tape because they come with these cloth covers that are basically sheaths to protect your rims from being scratched every time you push them in and out of the your wheel. On this one it's falling apart so a quick fix which I recommend doing is just wrap it in duct tape. It works just as well, lasts just as long and now because this is bright blue for potential thieves are more likely to see it and it's more likely to deter them. Obviously these off also offer huge physical security. Now these chains are not cheap, but they do last a long, long time. I think I've had each of these for over 10 years and they're just as strong and as useful as they've ever been. I will know that the shorter one here has developed quite a lot of uh, surface rust, but is still absolutely solid. So it must be a slightly different metal or coating to the longer two meter one. Who knows, but I'm still happy with both these products. One goes on the front and the blue duct taping protects the rim from getting scratched. Done, and one on the back. The benefits of having an extremely long chain like this one is that I can lock it to a lamppost or anything really solid and immovable because ideally you want to stop any potential thieves from picking up your bike and sticking it in a van. Also, when you do lock it to an immovable object like a lamppost, if you can, try and get the chain off the ground. The reason for that is if it's on the ground, it's here, there's a solid object, which is the ground, that they can lean against with an angle grinder. And finally, one of the best deterrents you can get is the trusty motorcycle cover. If a potential thief can't see you've got a brand spanking new 2020 Ducati Panigale V4 X582 brilliance under there, they don't know what to steal. They can't see it. They know it's a bike, but they don't know what's under there. Good high quality covers will have these holes for your chains to go through, meaning it's really difficult to lift the cover off. It's all a deterrent and all these little things add up. Again, at the back, it's exactly the same all of the turret but front and back if it's only got it at the front or one side or just at the back they can flip the cover over the whole bike and have a look what else could you do well you could have an alarm and an immobilizer i have had these the downsides of an alarm is basically seem to be set off by the wind or any little slight piece of movement and it drains your battery and it becomes an electrical nightmare really and also no one seems to really take notice of if your alarm goes off it's like no one cares so if you're not around to check it really doesn't do anything at all. I've been there with the immobilizer aspect. Um, I didn't like it at all. The idea that an electrical item is potentially locking me out of my own bike and I'm very mechanically minded, but when it comes to electronics, I'm not really sure what's going on. So I didn't like having it on there. But that teamed with an alarm, it seemed to just drain the battery and it never became really useful. Just a hindrance to my usage of the motorcycle. So that's it, thank you very much. Quite simply, if you've got a disc lock, two chains, ideally as long as possible, you can lock it to some immovable object, and a bike cover, you should be okay. You also do have to take into account 
what motorcycle you have. My Yamaha FZ6 is not all that valuable or nickable. It's more just to stop the inconvenience of it being stolen over losing the value of the bike. But still, it's important to do what you can and don't give these thieves what they want. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. Play more videos to come every Friday morning. See you later.